Like, I don't want you to die over something that you don't know. You know what I mean? After five yeah. years of paranormal investigation, we finally reached a breaking point that nearly brought an end to this channel. They saw his feet lift up and go flying backwards. I've had friends that have actually been here in the building of Chase Shadows for four or five hours. I thought I was hearing voices in my head. Oh my god, it just knocked oh, the oh, cab oh, off the chair. Is that memory? Turn, 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 turn. You like this place? Nothing what the please. fuck is that? What? There's okay, gotta, there's there's gotta, gotta be something there. Knock it over, I'll keep sweeping. Oh! Welcome to the Overnight Channel, dedicated to finding proof of the paranormal. Tonight's investigation takes place at Ashmore Estate. Hey everyone, first off, my apologies for the lack of consistent uploads. I really have been trying my best and we were just on tour for 33 days all throughout the USA and to be honest, I didn't plan very well to make sure videos would be coming out consistently. Thank you for bearing with me throughout this process. I I'm, I'm, I'm really am doing my best and uh, I really can't wait to keep posting these videos for all of you because I am really excited to share them. But with that being said, there's two cool things I want to let you know about. One, before tour was even over, we were having so much fun that we decided to add shows in the UK. So now we have shows in London, in Nottingham, and in Edinburgh, in Scotland. In London as well, we're hosting our only ghost hunt where you can join us. OvernightParanormal.com if you want to join the ghost hunt, any of the live shows we meet, everyone we take pictures, all that fun stuff. The information's there. Also, for tour, we made a really cool custom line of merch and everyone loved it so much that we decided to make more of it, but now it's available as a mystery box. So if you came out the tour, you know what the items look like, but if you don't, well then it's a complete surprise to you. But it's a hoodie, a long sleeve that maybe I'm wearing, a t-shirt and a hat that I'm not wearing, and that's all one package. We have them until they're sold out. So SenateSociety.com has the new mystery box. I really, really love these designs. It's 100% heavily overnight themed. It's not really Senate Society themed at all, but that's where it's at. So if you love this channel, if you love what we do, you're 100% gonna love the mystery box. So feel free, everything from the mystery boxes literally goes right back into these videos and trying to hire editors. Sincerely, thank you all. Enjoy this video, and I will say this one gets very, Emotional truly I think emotional is the only way to describe it I never thought we would have a moment like this between Corey and I and the team um, But I guess probably all of you watching would be like it was probably bound to happen So I'm really glad that what happened tonight happened because I think we learned a lot from it and uh, It really did help change a lot of things in a very positive way So yeah sincerely thanks for sticking around Everyone that came out on tour, thank you so much. We had so much fucking fun. So much fun. Every night, Corey and I were like, greatest job in the world. As soon as I turn this thing off, I'm going right back to editing the next one. So, see you guys. Enjoy. What's up, everyone, and welcome back to the Overnight Channel, or welcome to the Overnight Channel, where we are dedicated to all things paranormal. That was a really big bang that just happened right behind us. We are currently on a road trip across the United States to 30 of the most haunted locations we can get access to. And this is Ashmore Estates. It's gonna be a fun one. The yeah. grounds oh, we are oh, standing oh. on, not just the house behind us, everything here is known to be haunted. Wow. Wow. This was a farmhouse for the poor, for the mentally ill, at some times alcoholics, recovering addicts, and criminals here and there. So this is gonna be a very interesting location tonight. Yeah. I've got chills already. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> the owner is actually here and will be giving us the tour himself. Okay. We are also joining forces with a well-known and respected psychic medium, Sick. Dana Strickler. So she will be here as wow. well. So this will be one of our first times working with the psychic medium with her skill set. Okay. Uh, okay. I will say the property is known to be haunted during the day more so than at night. What? But what I was told is that at night, in order to get activity and to get the most activity, you have to wake them up. What? Okay. Oh, they were okay. on a strict work schedule. So yes. they were working these grounds all day. Yeah. Before and at night, they wanted to sleep and rest. Mm -hmm. So in order to get a little bit of activity tonight, we're going to have to try and wake them up. Okay. And I was all also right. told that activity can be very dull at times, but when it does happen, it doesn't stop. Oh my God. Okay. Ah! I'm still ready. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm excited. So ready. You ready? Yeah. yeah. All right, and then tonight we are also gonna see what happens with the box. Okay. We're gonna see what the medium has to say about the Divic box of boxes. We can open the box right now if we can go inside. Oh my god. Let's go inside. Go inside. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh. How are you this cold? You're from Dude, here. I'm you're, you're from this area. I hate it here. I gave you that jacket. I left this place. <laughs> Ashmore State has a history of going through immense phases that vary from a safe haven for the poor and mentally ill to more dire times in which it was drastically unsafe, unsanitary, and oppressive for those who resided here. Yet well beyond a century since its opening, some of its past residents still choose, or are forced to, call this their home to this day. The estate has now become a pinnacle stop for paranormal investigations in an effort to continue unraveling the complicated web of hauntings that overwhelm this property. Ashmore Estate's long history begins in 1857 in Loxa, Illinois, when it was first referred to as Coles County Poor Farm where they housed the numerous residents from the poor, handicapped, and mentally ill. And at times, they additionally housed alcoholics and acted as an early rehabilitation center, a place for people who had nowhere else to go. This farm was built with the intention of giving a new start to residents so they may have the resources to contribute towards society through the work they did there. And in 1870, the county purchased a new property closer to the St. Louis Railroad, which prompted the construction of a new, larger building. Two stories, made of timber and brick. Over the lifetime of the farm, it housed about 250 residents, or otherwise known as inmates. And all of the residents had to work on the farm to earn their keep. The original superintendent documented that within its first nine years, 32 people died on the property. There's even a cemetery at the end of the Ashmore State that is believed to hold between 60 to 100 people, yet it is unclear how many of which were residents. There are a few clearly documented deaths to have occurred on site. The most notable is in 1880 when a child, Elvis Skinner, was nearly five years old and her dress caught on fire while she was playing upstairs. From this incident, the upper floor is then caught on fire, resulting in severe structural damage. Elva later died of her burns and injuries. She is now seen playing throughout the estate and many have heard her whispers and calls of Mama. In 1902, the farm declined and so did the welfare of all the residents, which prompted a review by the state board, who reported that no special care was given to the mentally ill, and additionally, none were restrained, which was normal at that time. Over the next decade, the farm continued to deteriorate, and by 1911, it was condemned, with reports of infestations of rodents, minimal windows, limited ventilation, contaminated food, unsafe structures, and beyond. Attempts at renovations were made, including an effort to make the building fireproof. This location was desperately needed by the state to help those that desperately needed this location to call home. During this period, the next notable tale of haunting was created. Maintenance worker Joe Bluxham was given a new chance at life and worked at Ashmore for 15 years. Yet at the age of 76, he was hit by a train and prior to his passing, he was brought back to his room where he ultimately died. The spirit is now known to be found in the boiler room, which was his territory while alive and apparently even still beyond. Most claim that he doesn't like when anyone enters his space which has resulted in paranormal investigators being pushed down the stairs and aggressively grabbed, leaving one man hit so brutally he was left unconscious. All throughout the building are reports of paranormal activity, constant reports of shadow figures and feelings of extreme nausea, disembodied voices, apparitions of children and adults alike, footsteps, whistles, bells ringing, 
and loud bangs, being touched and pulled with K2 meters reading at the exact moments. The third floor tends to bring the most heavy feelings among visitors, giving them difficulty breathing. This is where the psychiatric hospital was and where patients with the most severe mental illnesses were brought. They were given the wet blanket treatment, which were continuous baths while restrained with wet clothes, strapped to a tub with straitjackets or anything deemed suitable, all while a canvas sheet was covering them. There is an enormous amount of gruesome tales from Ashmore State, with many stories undocumented, including a doctor who took his own life by jumping from the third story and the apparition of a man wearing a top hat wandering the grounds. These are just some of the known entities that still reside within Ashmore Estates. Hey, uh, Elton. Yep, Elton, Robin Terry. Nice to meet you. Hey, Your pleasure. Hey, Corey. Hey, Corey. Nice to meet you guys. Oh, my brother, Matt. Hey, Matt. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Hi there. Aaron. Aaron, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And I'll forget all your names. <laughs> so, Boyver's back here to have you guys sign real quick. Yeah, we'll do that. Just case you get hurt, killed, or possessed. What was that? I'm sorry, what was that last time? Killed or possessed. Oh, okay, so. oh great. What happens with all three happens? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> the offices were for the mental hospital down here. They had the offices down here. The reason they did that is because they wanted to put all the all the ones that were the worst on the third floor so they couldn't hear them. Wow. Uh, so when they scream and yell and stuff like that, they didn't hear them at all. There was a lot of people that lived down here during the poor farm days that had mental disorders also. Mm -hmm. You could have anything from a rapist to a child living in the same building. What? So, yeah. Wow. And uh, so it was kind of... It was kind of scary in a way. The people that lived in this building were living basically uh, in a worse conditions than the livestock. They wow, said there was feces on all the table, or chairs, couches, beds, what? rats running around all over the place. You're in the old part of the building now. Wow. This, this is the part that was built in 1960. Wow. And this is the women's and children's dining hall. This area of the women's, children, uh, women's dining hall has really been pretty active most of the time with people. I see a lot of shadows down here. Tell people, if you just find a spot and sit, a lot of times the building will come to you. You don't have to even try to find stuff. You just wow. will find you. That's cool. This yeah. is the boiler room. This is actually a pretty good spot to go. I've had people who had rocks thrown at them up here, but they've heard them skip across the floor. Wow. So a couple of friends of mine actually were down there, two girls, and they had they were getting like pushed around or something like that, and something was messing with them. And one guy kind of got up and said, you know, Dude. and he kicked, it's like the door like this here. He couldn't get the door open. And wow. so he kicked the door through the frame to get out. Oh my God, so, strong guy. Yeah. Jeez. Uh, or fear just kind of. Yeah, <laughs> adrenaline. <laughs> yeah, I mean, those are steel metal doors. Yeah, uh, kicked it so, through the yeah. frame? Usually if there's a girl in here and she'll tell me they got her hair pulled or something like that, it's like, don't tell me where you're at, but I think you're in the boiler room. Mm -hmm. And then she'd be like, usually like freak out because they're like, how the hell did you know where I was? You know, wow. So. You know, though, what we should do for right here, mm -hmm. Evan, go to the RV and get your dress. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Get the chaps. We've been preparing for this one. Get the chaps. <laughs> You're waiting for that one time. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Need that one location. He's yeah. been waiting for yeah. this. <laughs> Otherwise, he would now, never wear it. I got a wig in there for you. <gasps> oh. Do you really have a wig in there? Yeah. Oh, we're definitely gonna need that. This show. place is so cool, dude. There's a whole room right down here. Mark chimney, though. Oh, that's a creepy doll. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> there are motion lights on the stairways. But you'll sit down at one end of the hallway and they'll kick they'll off. They'll just go off? Yeah, they'll just kick off and on. These rooms here were just basically all used for inmates for the poor farm or for the uh, hospital patients. Oh, oh, somebody's sorry, somebody moved the rocking chair out. It's in the closet. Someone's oh, let's get it out yeah, because somebody yeah. likes to rock in the chair. Really? Yeah. Is this original? Not to the building, no. Not There's only one piece of furniture original in the building and it's on the third floor. I mean, it's definitely, it's an original wheelchair for sure. Yeah. I've had friends that have actually been here in the building have chased shadows for four or five hours. I experienced it here once where there was a figure that came through that doorway, but she said it wasn't dark, it was like white. And she was sitting over here, and she said it was almost as high as the door frame, and it freaked her out. She kind of turned this into a memorial floor, where people that died in the paranormal things like that have, uh, have sent stuff to us. She kind of got a memorial over there. One of the girls that used to help us out here in the building got killed in a car accident. Yeah, Hannah's name comes up 
lot of different times people investigating. Wow. She was a paranormal investigator, I'm assuming, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. She knew how every device probably yep. worked. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, articles. Question for you. Mm -hmm. Something that happened March 7th, 1894, that they both died the same day. Oh, um, I have no idea. Because, I mean, I would find it strange that two people, these are people that yeah. were here, right? Right. Yeah, these were all people that lived here in the building. And on the same day, they passed away? Yeah. Wow. I honestly had never, never noticed it before. It makes me wonder something not natural. This would have been the room here that they used for electric shock therapy. This is the only piece of property that's original to the building. People have had experiences when they've stayed on it or slept on it. People sleep, People sleep, sleep on that on bed? bed? Uh, some have. What? <laughs> okay, Matt? What? <laughs> <laughs>15 minutes looking everywhere. I'll empty all of my pockets, everything, no keys. And then probably after 15, 20 minutes of looking, you put your hand in your pocket and, and, and they're in there. And how often are you doing the same thing? Oh, I mean, uh, we have four on 14 straight nights. Yeah. <laughs> that does sound like someone's messing with you. Okay. Yeah. I'm 25 now, but I also. I kind of haunted myself when I was a little kid, so I grew up with a lot of paranormal activity always going on. You haunted yourself? I, yeah, like when I was like 11 and 12, I like daily played with Ouija boards. Yeah. For me, it's more of an organic process where I'm like, okay, I can sense, you know, there's, there's a kid watching me from the hallway over here right now. Wait, really? Really. So, you know, there's people watching. I can feel it but I'm not going to like crumple to the floor on you or... Now do, th do they know you can see them? Yes. Oh, interesting. Good night. Yeah, yeah. lights out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a cat ball party. <laughs> All right, guys, we're coming down the hallway. For the first time I was here, you guys rolled some marbles on this hallway for me. We're going to introduce ourselves to you. All of these guys are here to hear from you. Hey, my name is Elton. We can play some games. I can teach you some new ones. He's from California. All the ghosts just went, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> just became a star. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Aaron. Um, and it would be awesome to talk to you. Hello, my name is Matt. I'd really like to meet one of you, or all of you. Just one of you. Just one of you. One spokesperson will do. I only would like to meet one of you, please. Meet all of them. Meet all of them. Or who, you know, first five. We walk out and there's like all these layers. Oh my god. <laughs> my name's Corey. We just would like to talk to you guys and maybe learn a little bit about your story before we leave tonight. Do I have a British nurse here by chance? If she's here, will you, will you tell me your name? This room was not for kids, is what I was just told. You try them. <laughs> Don't get scared, just do it. I'm not it's scared, it's okay. That's just Wow. <clears throat> What's wow? That was a very small moment. What are you wowing about? 
I thought I was hearing voices in my head. It, did you hear that? What? It, I didn't move sitting down, but it sounds like there was something in the chair with me. Um, I did hear that, like a crutch noise almost. Like someone sitting back in a chair right behind me. Um, but, is that you guys? Holy, what is that? What the fuck is that? What? There's okay, gotta, wait, there's there's gotta be something there. Okay. What? What? What is that? Is that just the door? You saw that. Yeah. You saw that, right? On the right side? Go run down, toward it. Down. Full sprint toward it right now. It looked like Through a person. The, the door. Go Come on, no. Uh, this is the floor that I said that that happened on. <sighs> it's okay. Everybody breathe. I'm gonna put this down by the door. If that thing starts going crazy by the door, I'm gonna lose it. Oh. Was there anyone standing in that door? I know one time I was here, I met a woman named Alice. Is Alice still here? Oh, I've got a good one. If I do a whistle, will you guys whistle back to me? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna give you a little time after I do it too, because I sometimes talk over the top of it. What was that? Behind us. It sounded like a whistle behind us. Was it a whistle? It sounded like it as you were talking about them. I just heard it again down there. The, the voice. I, the whistle. Are you serious? Seriously, come on. Did you hear it again? I did, right when I said that. Oh my god. god. It just knocked the cat off the chair. Are you serious? I saw it, dude. I fucking saw it. I got a huge tangle feeling to look in there right as I did. Oh, and I watched yeah. it just fall off the chair. Awesome. Wait, it fell forward too. Yeah, the chair fell backwards. Oh, okay. I knew it. What did you feel though in your gut? That's what you gotta listen to. Kid, adult, did you think about any of that? Or... I didn't, no. I didn't okay. think about Next that. time you have something like that happen, try to like, just kind try of figure feel. it out. Cause everybody's psychic, you know? It's just a matter of degrees. Okay, so I'm just going to the next room. I want to ride this down the hallway toward them so bad. <laughs> Your fat ass can fit on that. I could ride it, but I don't want to break it. But I could. I could. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to out right. of respect. Yeah, yeah. You need to make me ride it, aren't you? Hold my beer. And by beer, I mean EVP recorder. <laughs> huh? I think you're going to need smaller knees. Nah, I think I can do it. I just want to remind everyone that the same company that created Ghost Adventures offered us a show, and, and, and this is why we didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my god. Holy cow, you said a thing. You know what you did? You said, if, you, if I give you a thing, and you did this, <laughs> That's like an entire giant thing. Yeah. I don't know what it is or what I get off of it. Both. Well, I don't know what it is. I... This is my impression of it. And it's probably going to end up being something completely stupid, but it's making me feel kind of sick to my stomach. That's pretty accurate. <laughs> and. I'm not very comfortable touching it. I'm not seeing it in that. I'm feeling it in here. I don't like it. Was something contained in it? Or is it for something unpleasant? Do you want an answer? Yeah, because I don't know what it does. Yes. Both things? Something yes. was contained in it and it Okay. The only other thing I got off of it, and this, I, it's, I don't know who owned it or what it is, but I can tell you this, for some reason I'm seeing like pigeons or wings on birds. So whatever the history is, I feel there's something to do with that in here. But I don't like the thought of what might been, have been in it. It's just off for me. So, yeah, I do know wanna, what is it? <laughs> it's funny, it's impossible for her to have known anything. I know. Is it like a magician box? It is not. 
Picture like the worst magic ever. <laughs> like a head in a box? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, magic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kind yeah. of. Wow. This box itself is just a container for Divic boxes. Oh, okay. You need to figure out that bird reference. <laughs> Seriously. Thanks. So, I don't know where you got this thing from or what. I don't know the story, and I'm sure you do, but please look into the bird, the wings, there's bird, and I swear it's a pigeon. But that to freak me out like that kind of freaks me out even more. Yeah. Because I don't freak out very easy. I just don't want to touch it. It's funny because the first night that we were, it's, well, hold on, did you hear a... Yep. Who was that? On me. Not I. No, no, that wasn't you? Mm-mm. -mm. It's funny because the first night that we were that everyone heard that, right? That was I didn't hear it. Very loud. Dude, it was like a I'm I'm not even playing like I know this might be a little reaching, bro, but like I know you don't believe in it at all, but I'm terrified that because you open them, it could actually kill you. And like, I'm not like, I'm being serious. Like I've just, it, like, you know, I hate this stuff. Same. And, and like, I've just had that feeling this whole time. Like, please do not open them. Because you know, even though you don't believe in it, doesn't mean it can't affect you. And right. there are things out there I can tell you that are not human spirits. I can tell you that for a fact. They're very, very rare, but they're there, and you don't want to put this way. You know when you see that sort of thing on TV and they seem to solve the case and the person is better after like a month? Yeah. Literally opening a Pandora's box, and you can't get that shit back in once it goes out. And then that's following you for not just the day, it could be years of your life. So just be careful. Yeah, I took those guys into Ashmore and then this happened. <laughs> They'll never work again. Or you know it's interesting. Mm -hmm. Currently the box is closed. Yeah. And you're saying that you feel like I might die and I shouldn't do it. Mm -hmm. The very first time I opened it, you nearly agreed to open a Divic box yourself. See, that's what I don't like. You and Aaron both agreed to open one if Matt would. I stopped you guys. You proposed, we had to turn cameras back on because out of nowhere, exactly. you wanted to open up a Divic box and now it's closed and you're saying that you think I'm going to die. Exactly. Why would I want to open one? Exactly. I would be terrified to touch one. That's why I do not like it, bro. I think it's fucking with us. I truly think it's fucking with us. And also, holy, I'm about to pass out. Holy shit. I'll take this outside the building. Oh, uh, I'm not right. gonna go out there. Yeah, he's gonna Good luck with that, boys. <laughs> Cameraman? Yep. Oh! Do I have any bugs? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> I think it just started snowing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. Holy it's shit. It's snowing right now. Are you good, brother? Yeah, the RV is yeah. warm. You want to go in there? Yeah. Yeah, let's go in the RV. It's yeah. warm in there. I'll leave the box out of it. I'll tell you something else I'll tell when we get in there. Okay. It's really fucking weird. Okay, go ahead. Hop in. Oh god, it's like cold being able to sit down. Because your pants are frozen. So this is really fucking weird. And this has never happened up until the first night 
especially when you brought out the box. And this is really fucking weird. And it happened again tonight, so it's literally happened every day since I've been around the box. But whenever I get really scared during investigations and stuff, you know, I was taught to close your eyes and picture your angels wrapping their wings around you and, you know, feeling comfortable when everything's okay. And every single night since this trip, since you brought out the box, I'll close my eyes and I'll start picturing the angels wrapping around me. And I don't know why this keeps happening because I've never thought of this image in my entire life and I won't be thinking about it when it happens. And my eyes are closed and they're wrapping around me and then immediately it's your face and you have no eyes and you're just staring at me. And it happened again tonight. And it's really fucking weird to me. And I'm like, what does that mean? Do you think it has anything to do with the Queen Mary shit? I don't know. That's actually a great point. But I'm being serious. I don't. I don't know. When you see that, though, do you feel like, terrified? terrified? Do you feel okay. I immediately open my eyes. Terrified for yourself or for me? For you. And I know you don't believe in this stuff, dog. But some of this shit's serious, bro, and it's really scaring me, man. being serious though like I don't want you to die over something that you don't know you know what I mean yeah <sighs> like I've never seen shit like that I don't even know why I'm crying bro <sighs> yeah, I won't open until the trip's over by yourself Had a ghost in your pocket, and you just happy to see me. <laughs> I just, uh, yeah. Sorry, guys. Don't be sorry. I think you're right. Yeah, I just care about you a lot, and I don't want you to do something that could actually hurt you, even if you don't believe in it. That's just my worry. I understand. If I can find, not if I'm saying if, if I can find the right people that know how to deal with this, can they be the ones to open it? Not me. Like a Dybbuk box, box expert or something? Do you remember a Kelta? Yeah. Which is at the Queen Mary. Yeah. It's what they specialize in. If they can, they. I want to see what happens, and I want to see what's inside them. If if you have like experts with you and they can literally do something where 
the Dybbuk boxes somehow don't affect you or anybody, then sure. But like, don't you think it would look so good in a museum? <laughs> you know? You keep it locked away and figure out what to do with it. Okay. I'm not gonna die. Okay. I mean, I am. But not yet. But not yet. In like 60 years. Take off a zero. Don't say that. <laughs> Don't say, see, that's what the Diddy Box will do. That's what it'll do. <sighs> Has anyone got gushers for this man? I'm sensitive and I care about my friends, okay? Here's the thing. I can't take you fucking seriously with your voice-activated iPhone charger lighting up every time you fade the shit like that. <laughs> You're it's like, I'm not voice-activated. I'm sensitive and I love my friends. How do you want me to take you seriously right now when this is what you own? I like Christmas! Let's get ready to investigate, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we thought it was raining outside. Well, she did say that that can happen. <laughs> Alright, back investigate? Yeah. I didn't even hear what you said. <laughs> what? I don't, I, I'm out of it right now. You said you're, did you, you said you're back break and investigate. That's what I yeah, heard. Yeah, I said break my back in the bedroom. <laughs> break my back and feed me a snack. Let's yeah. investigate. Let me get some fucking testosterone going. I can help with that. Come on. <laughs> Alright, cutting. Is he getting up? <laughs> Was that not our entire friend friendship Absolutely. in a one minute clip? Yeah. You're okay. <laughs> oh, oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> my feet came off the ground. <laughs> I've never felt so vulnerable. At one point, at one point, my feet did this. <laughs> you never feel like less than a man when your feet are two inches off the Absolutely ground. Absolutely not. All fun and games, but <clears throat> gotta help my friend heal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love you! I'm not gonna let anything happen to you! I just want out to, to be a- Pull your pants up. <laughs> go back there, go get, back Get there. out, back Evan! There. I just want to go there! I did! 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 Oh my god! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, I'm cutting. Okay. Okay. Don't be alarmed if we're walking around. We're not gonna hurt you. It's quiet. Too quiet. Hey guys, this motion sensor light just turned on. In the stairs? Where? Yeah, and I'm slowly moving closer to test it. I just watched it turn on. Like, I'm... Well, oh, there's, there's still right now. Back, dude. Oh, why is that picking up? Look at this, still. Still doesn't turn on. I, there you go. And I didn't move, really. No way. I'm not moving. Everyone stop moving. Corner. Corner. Can you make the light turn on again? Are you standing in the corner? Numb. Numb. Are you cold? Can you turn the light on again? Is you, Evan? Jeremy, I'm sorry, I can't see. You can leave the corner. No. We have blankets. No, I'm not moving. No, do you hear it though? 
sounds like there's someone upstairs. Like it just walked away from the yeah, staircase. Yeah, I hear it too. Like, yeah. pant, like pant legs walking. Yeah, that's the... What the fuck is that? Memory. Turn, 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 turn. Dude, I swore I just saw something in fucking white in the middle of the hallway. You want to play a game, hide and seek? Or are you playing a game of hide and seek right now? We saw you run up here. The one with two beds. Digital. Whoa. Hold on, there we go. I had something on here. Tall. Really tall. This is where I saw the tall thing yeah. looking. And it, it was right there on the door frame. It was right there. All right, let's wake everyone up. <clears throat> what do you suggest? Shout. Hello! Middle of the night, we got a surprise. Do something fun. How about this? Let's hang out tonight. You don't have to work tomorrow. I hate provoking. I don't like. Even if it's nice with good intentions, I don't. I don't like doing it. We're not gonna tell, and we won't get you in trouble. Does anyone else feel like the person on the second floor was like a kid? The the seek and the pop and yeah. the, like the motion sensor light and like the footsteps were so very light. Yeah. It makes me think it might be Alva. A kid. Yeah. This is your last chance to hang out with us if you want to play. I'm gonna have trace. It's on the third floor, so. I say oh, trace. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. They were just on the right by you, aren't Trace these. Trace these no. steps. <laughs> what do you want us to trace? Maybe go back downstairs? Look how sensitive that is. There, there it is. is. So that Three steps right here, yeah. So where's that music box? Actually, I don't know where Corey put it. I think he, he picked it up off of there. Where'd they go? It's still going. Hi. Hi there. Do you like that song? Yeah. yeah it's a pretty good song, isn't it? If you can you can let it keep playing. Just stand in front of it. It'll play the song. Hey. Dance party. You like it? Dance party. Do you like that we're here to talk to you? Do you talk to a lot of people? Are you an adult? Okay. So you're an adult. Okay. All right, we're adults too. Do you want us to stay and keep talking to you for a bit? I'm sure it gets lonely. Yeah. Okay. So you lived in this house? Okay. Did they have you out working on the farm? Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, so we know we know about your job. Was it hot out a lot of the times? Oh yeah. I bet. I bet. Did you enjoy it here? While you live here? Yes. I like that. I like that. 
Did you like living here? Wow. Did you have a friend here or a best friend here that you grew up with? Or that you, you met here? Okay, that's good. Is, um, is your best friend still here with you right now? Okay. Wow. That's good. I'm glad you guys can still hang out and have fun. I'm not gonna lie, you're kind of giving me chills a little bit. That's so awesome talking to you. Was anyone here really, really mean to you? Wow. Was it the staff? Oh, I'm sorry. Is there more than one person in this room with us? Yeah. Okay. You guys feel like warm energy. Are you, are you nice or were you wrongly here? Do you, do you wish you had different circumstances in your physical life? I, I feel for you. Did someone send you here without you wanting to come here? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to leave this device in here so you can keep playing music. You can play with it all you want. And we're going to go get some more tools so we can talk to you better. Okay? Hope you don't mind if I have a seat. My friend mentioned that maybe we sound a little weird. We're from California. That's where we live now. Have any of you guys ever been there? Call and then brace it. Have you ever been out west that far? I'm next to a pile of bracelets. Are you serious? Yeah, this whole box is full of bracelets, earrings, necklaces, rings. Like, whole thing. Just full of jewelry. <laughs> Take it. Yeah. <laughs> the odds of getting a name on oh. this. Gone. gone. Who's gone? Did you leave us? Or did you lose someone? Am not gone. Is it am it not? Says, am not. No. He really did say though. I mean, it's, it's like the first thing. Yeah, it's like nothing or everything. Nothing or everything. Yeah. Try the spirit box. I hate the. I hate the spirit box so much. Really? Dude, the loudness like just makes me like so uneasy. I'll get the fair boy. Oh, God. Fight. 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 Because you're like, no spirit box. And I'm like, spirit box. It's <laughs> like are fighting a little bit of a fight. What do you think? Do you want us to grab the box so we can hear you better? Or should we not? Because it's kind of loud. You want to see us fight? He'll win. But I'll get scrappy. <laughs> I'll go for all the cheap shots. Loser has to kiss the winner. <laughs> oh no, we both forfeit. Oh no. Heaven win. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it right here, near the uh, record player. That way it doesn't seem so outlandish. <laughs> Am I letting you say your name? That's Linger. So lingering here. Lingering? Spirit box said linger. Or the uh, obelisk said linger. Are we lingering? Huh. Are we overstaying our welcome? Yeah. Did you like this place? We both just watched that fall, right? 
Last thing I said was, did you like that place? I like this place. You knocked it right off. Do you want us to leave? Did it break? That thing just fucking fell off. Second time tonight. Cat ball and then this. Cat ball and that, yeah. Well, they clearly have power. There's your red pocket. Yeah, it's down there still. We're still here to talk if you want to talk to us. Alright, here, I'm gonna turn this off real quick. I'm gonna scoot it a little bit forward, okay? But I think that was you saying that you still wanna talk. So. What was that? What was that? You guys didn't hear that? No. I thought that was just you walking. You didn't hear the, dun, 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 the shuffling on the ground? No, I thought that was you. No! Dog, I thought something, I thought Elton or somebody was about to come crawling from under the bed. No. It's still going off though. Hello? You... Okay, do you wanna, do you wanna try to talk to us again? Would you like to answer some more questions? It's not even turning. Dude, that no scared the fuck out of me. I'm sorry, you didn't, I mean, you know. It scared me because I didn't know what was about to happen. I didn't mean to say that you scared me, but you did a little bit, but it's okay. I'll get over it. Do you still want to talk to us? Yeah. Okay. Can we ask you some more questions? Did you sleep in one of these beds? Okay. Was it this bed? All right. Okay. And did your best friend sleep in this bed? No? Was it a stranger? Was it someone that you weren't really friends with? Ooh, it was a stranger. Do you still want to talk to us? Or do you want us to get out of your room? Okay, well, we're going to say goodbye to you right now, and it was really nice talking to you. So Jonah does our B-roll. Yep. Hi. Right? He runs around, so typically we'll go do <laughs> a thing together while Evan films just Evan, mm -hmm. and then Jonah goes off, and he always asks the guide to go with him. You know, it's, I feel like I get a better coverage of like the property when like, yeah. the guide who gives Tells me where to film. It's not... Anything to do with me being scared. <laughs> yeah, totally. Oh my god, how small is your head? <laughs> what? What if you capture some shit behind Jonah? Oh my god! Dude, you know what? Ah! You know what? <laughs> Imagine yeah. how annoying and scary it'd be if there's a ghost behind you and you keep trying to look and see him, but he just keeps saying, <laughs> <laughs> he, he has enough time that he's like, he's like. <laughs> We got some toolboxes of our own, huh? Eh? 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 this box. Are you down here with us, Joe? Wow. wow. On cue. Man, you look sick. This is Joe, and that thing just. Oh, no. it looked again. Again, it again, like again. And it just cracked. I just asked him. Did you hear the noise? Yeah. And look, look, look. It's Joe. Look at that. Did you want to leave, but you couldn't? You know, Joe, you were about the age of my grandpa, and I love him a lot. Whoa. Dude, these, these oh, are happening at the wow. same time. Oh, fuck. All right. La-di-da. Oh, God, like it's quiet. Mm. Oh, I already hate this so much. God, I hate this. Fuck. Oh my god, dude, there's a fucking head. Oh god, I fucking hate this.
Look, look. Do you, what? um, and after you're done answering the question, could you keep the flashlight off, please, so we, so we know when you're done? You got it. You got it. You got it. Yeah, you know how these things work. What is happening oh in front of me? How, 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 what color is it going to? Almost, Almost all the way over. <laughs> Here we go. Can you turn it off for me, please? I have another question for you, but we got to start from off. Do you have any family that you miss? There's nothing above us. No? No, there's nothing above us. I can see what outside. There's nothing what above us. But I heard talking. I 100% heard talking with the footsteps. And flashlight on. Yeah. Joe, are you talking to us? That's you, yeah? Yeah. It's very nice to meet you. Are you happy that we're here to visit you? I will take that as a yes for the record. Yeah. All right, Joe, I'm gonna tidy up, all right? There we go. I don't know if you like that or not. Do you like him sweeping, Joe? Can you turn the light back on if you like that he is sweeping for you? If it's okay that he does that? Can you turn the light on? We just wanna make sure it's okay with you. There we go. Oh, there's a couple little plastic balls rolling around here. If you can turn one of those on, we'll all clean up for you. Joe, left the broom there, okay? You knock it over, I'll keep sweeping. Oh! Was it? Yeah, it was perfectly balanced. I said knock it over, you want me to keep sweeping? Keep sweeping, up. Keep sweeping. I didn't see it because you stopped right in front of the camera. Well, it, it scared me, Evan. <laughs> Dude, I watched that. I watched it fall. Yeah, I left it perfectly balanced. I know, it didn't start falling until you were three steps away. And I literally said, knock it over, you want me to keep sweeping? Yeah. 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 Sorry about that. Yeah. 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 Ye
can't wait to do it. Ten more nights in a row. Oh, God damn. All right, see you guys. If this doesn't work, I don't know what will. Joe, this is right here. Just meant to give you some energy, all right, bud? It's not going to hurt you. Well, that's not me. That no, one off. I, I didn't press anything. That one off over there. Outside. The K2. Yo, 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 flashlight. I didn't touch the chair. I know. I know. I watched you not touch it. Wait, how did that just happen? It turned he just rolled too. off. <laughs> All right, Joe. If you can push the flashlight, can you knock over the broom now? That's the third time. Yeah, that was amazing. No. That was pretty amazing. Third you time tonight, and it happened last night, too. Yeah. Try it, try it, still giving them some energy. For We're them. gonna give you a little bit more energy, just a little bit more. That sounds like we were all over the mic. Yeah. Go, 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 go. You spread it around the room, all right, Joe? How'd that flashlight fall? Joe might be done talking to us. Well, that is the way of ending the uh, flashlight game. Yeah. yeah, he might be over it. Maybe it's time to let him go to bed. Get some rest. KT's going off with his family. You want to get some rest, Joe? Alright, well, thank you guys for watching. I, I appreciate it. We're still on the road trip. That's literally the motorhome. We, we live in there. We drive location to location. It's snowing right now. And we're going further up into the East Coast. So it's just... Yeah. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be cold, but we're, we're yeah. making it happen. We love the East Coast. This was an interesting <laughs> night, without any doubt. It was. What an emotional roller coaster. I know, I know. This is, we're just giving you everything we got, guys. Like, you're, this is what we go through every single night. We do these tours, we try and meet up with the local experts that we can. This shit's real. This shit's real! This shit's real, like, this is... This was our night. Yeah, this is how we learn. You know, <laughs> this is what we do. Okay, go. Don't fucking break all my ghost tools. Just opening. All right, let's get in the motor home. The heat's already on in there. Yeah, it's Ooh, snowing. Let's get out of here. Thank God. Um, should we have, should we have him leave a leave a comment? Yeah, let's have him leave a comment. Let's have him um, leave first, a comment. All right, first first fifty people to comment Venmo at Matt Rife a hundred dollars. All win all right. a dollar each. All first right. people to actually Venmo you a hundred dollars get a dollar. Yeah, one hundred percent. Okay, one hundred percent. If you're si if you're seeing this, first person to com first first thousand people to comment, oh my pussy hurts. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! <laughs> what do they win, Aaron? What do they win? <laughs> they win a like. <laughs> okay. right, I will I will give I'll give five random people merch, whatever you want from Senate Society. If you comment, my pussy hurts. <laughs> Thanks, broke Matt right? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's all comment. That's My good. bussy hurts. Thanks, broke Matt right? <laughs> and you will win merch. You will win merch. But also Ven Venmo at Matt Rife $100. <laughs> yeah. Also, please comment that on Matt's Instagram. Yeah. 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 No, no, everyone go to Matt's Instagram and say, damn, that's that. Po that wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, everybody go to Matt's Instagram and say, damn, that's that bussy boy. <laughs> <laughs> Any picture you want. No, damn, Any that's picture. that broke bussy boy. Damn, that's that broke bussy boy. We're uh, choosing five people to get. I don't understand why you guys have to make it financial. Okay. <laughs> it hurts you have to Venmo you. Alrighty, it's, it's snowing.